How has the coronavirus transformed our families, homes, and personal spaces? At this Museum of Art in the northern Israeli city of Haifa, there are many questions surrounding the pandemic and few answers. This is the first museum in the world to dedicate its entire space to the COVID-19 crisis. When we came to work on this exhibition, uh, we really wanted to find an angle in which we as an art institution can react to this new reality. We chose the, the, to look at through the angle of space, of the concept of space. Titled Spaces in Turmoil, the show explores the impact the pandemic has had on humanity. 50 artists and 9 exhibitions are on display, all under one roof. The star of the exhibition is the Dark Knight of the Animal Kingdom, the Bat, which is thought to have transmitted the novel coronavirus to man. Israeli photojournalist Yuval Chen is the artist behind the somber photographic series. Yuval Chen wandered the streets of Tel Aviv and found that suddenly the bats there had much more space to move in now that everyone was under lockdown. They were not scared to go out anymore. Essentially, humans stayed indoors and the bats came out. The exhibitions here originally opened in September, just before Israel went into lockdown due to skyrocketing virus cases. All museums across the country, along with restaurants, shops and schools, were forced to shut down for the second time since the start of the pandemic. Now, months later, there's a glimmer of hope. The Israeli government has decided to allow some cultural institutions to reopen their doors. And the Haifa Museum of Art is hoping it will be one of them. Museums in Haifa, like in other places all over the world, were affected severely. It's a terrible situation to be in. People cannot use culture, which, which is something they love, uh, they admire, and the museums are closed, and it's quite sad. One of the artists taking part is Belu Simeon Feinaru, a renowned mixed media artist who was born in Romania. He created this dramatic installation that is evocative of Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper. To do that, he filled delicate white porcelain dishes with toxic oil. See, normally we have a continuity between the past and the present and the future. And now it's a disruption. It's something that uh, breaks down. Other artists explore how lockdowns and isolation have changed the meaning of home and family life. This work is about a fragile moment. Uh, families uh, being together, eating dinner, and in one moment, everything can break apart. For the museum, the ultimate goal is to confront our new reality. But what lies ahead for cultural institutions and artists in our post-pandemic world is anyone's guess. Most of the employees have been furloughed and it's been a very tough period with a lot of uncertainty, especially for those working in culture whose industry has been classified as non-essential. Many questions remain. From Haifa, Maya Margit, reporting for the Media Line.